is there any restriction in counting money every day or often? What's wrong in getting your wallet and counting your money? What is wrong in calculating how much I have in my bank account and whether I can manage to the end of the month before the next paycheck or not? There's nothing wrong at, in that at all. On the contrary, to calculate your expenses so that you could have a better grip on them and to manage them more efficiently is a recommended thing. It's part of wisdom to be able to manage your daily uh, expenses and monthly expenses so that you are not surprised or shocked to find that, oops, I've done a mistake. I miscalculated it. I need to borrow. Now, what seems to be confusing to the questioner is a number of narrations. For example, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said that when the Prophet died, alayhi salatu was salam, I had <coughs> some barley placed on the shelf. So I used to consume. So she takes from the barley, she makes bread, she cooks, she makes food. And I used it for a very long time. And then I thought, whoa, this has been too long. Let me weigh it and see how much it weighs. She said, the moment I weighed it, it was over. A couple of days and it's finished. And also in the hadith of Abu Rafi, when he was handing the Prophet ﷺ some meat from a small goat or sheep. So he kept on handing the Prophet and the Prophet is giving it to his companions and feeding people until the Prophet said to him, hand me the shoulder or the arm. So Abu Rafa said, how many arms does a sheep have? The only two arms. And the Prophet said, Ah, uh, had you not said this, you would have continued to give me meat endlessly. But because you said this, now it's over. The supply of meat will f be finished. In a third hadith, one of the companions said, I asked the Prophet ﷺ from, for some help, so he gave me some barley like, you know, uh, um, an, uh, an amount or a bag or, or whatever. And my wife and I kept on eating from it for a very long time until I weighed it to see how much is left and then it was over. So this may confuse people thinking that if I open my wallet and count how many dollars or euros I have, this would take away the barakah and it will run out. But if I don't count, I'll keep spending and spending and spending. This is not true. The issue is that was a karama for Mother Aisha or for Abu Rafi or a miracle with the Prophet or for the other companions. This karama, this gift and blessing from Allah Azza wa Jal is to indicate that we are looking to whatever Allah has blessed us with, with gratitude and looking at it's a blessing from Allah. The moment we count it or weigh it, this makes our greed kick in. And this is when the blessing, if any, would be gone and it would be like everyone else. So there is no problem in calculating or registering your monthly expenses in order to be safe rather than sorry. And this has nothing to do with the barakah as long as your heart is always looking to Allah Azza wa Jal and identifying and confirming that every blessing you have is a gift from the Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala.